Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is nothing related to luxury goods, fashion or beauty. Instead, I want to share with you guys some of the gears and equipments that I use to make YouTube videos and also use for my vlogging. So I hope this helpful for you and uh, I hope you like this video and let me go ahead and get started. So first of all, I've been making videos for many, many years. Um, in the very beginning, I have not been consistent uh, making videos weekly until recently. I sort of get back to YouTube community and I just want to kind of, uh, you know, um, making videos twice, uh, two videos per week. And the reason when I first started, this is actually my second channel. I have another channel many, many years ago, but I kind of abandoned that channel. But for this channel, the reason I started making videos is because I want to have some kind of, you know, a, a record, a memory for myself to keep. So anyway, I just want to tell uh, share with you guys that all the gears that I use uh, and hopefully this will uh, help you decide what gears that you want to purchase and also um, you don't want to spend so much money um, on the gears when you're making videos because the con to me content is the most important uh, factor is not what you what equipment what cameras that you use so first of all I like to share with you guys is some of the uh, tripods that I use first of all uh, this is the, uh, the okay I will list all the items in the description box so feel free to check it out and uh, so in case you consider purchasing on Amazon so this one is the Manfrotto uh, it's a really popular uh, mini tripod it's a Manfrotto tripod mini tripod and this is a camera that I use to make my YouTube videos and this is the Canon G7X Mark II I got a couple years ago and I really like it and today I did not use this to make this video I use my iPhone because I want to show you guys what I use so basically with this one you just kind of using the uh, scoot it in and here you have it you know so you can sit it down very easily or you can handheld when you're doing the vlogging and with this flip screen it's easy to see yourself when you vlog so this is my go-to tripod majority of the time when I'm vlogging and it's so easy to use because you can just set it down really easily and moving on to the next tripod that sometimes I use and this is a uh, um, a really uh, easy to use this is called like the gorilla tripod although this is not the exact gorilla tripod this is the off brand because gorilla tripod is a little bit on the pricey side so this one actually is the um, ben Benton I will um, have the other information in the description box so uh, you guys can check it out so this is from Benton it's not from gorilla but the um, the theory is this the concept is the same because this legs can bend so you can easily attach on uh, like the chairs or on tree or things like that so uh, it's the same thing you can easily just attach your camera and this is very flexible unlike this one cannot be banned so this is another option uh, when you're traveling um, you can use this type of tripod and I think uh, it's really, really light. It's just a little bit bulkier compared to this one. So I don't use this as much, but I still think this is a very good alternative uh, when you're traveling and uh, when you're hiking especially. So uh, you can kind of attach this to the trim, uh, tree branches or um, any objects that you can attach to. So. Uh, moving on to the next tri, uh, it's it's not tripod, but it's this one. It's called the L bracket. Oh, this way, L bracket. And the reason I purchased this is because, okay, let me show you guys. This is the uh, quarter inch screw, and what you can do is put the camera here. Let me attach it real quick. And once you attach it. You can just hold your camera really good, like 
like this way and then on top of here there is another uh like attachment type is a, another uh is it a hot shoot mount some kind of mount that you can attach your external um microphone so i used to have one but i returned it and uh instead i purchased this one which is this is the road microphone so the audio today probably sound a little bit different because normally when i make videos i did not use this roll microphone so the audio is a little bit um, not as crisp but today you probably can tell the difference because you see that i'm using this roll uh, microphone so the audio quality is better so um, i plan to buy another external microphone so i can attach it here because this particular camera do not have the microphone uh, jack uh, here so um, that's why um, i don't know how i'm gonna use with this camera so i probably just have to um, upgrade if i decide to but this bracket l bracket mainly is for you to put camera and have something else or you know externally that you can hook it up here and i just thought it's very easy to hold um when you walk around because this camera is kind of small and when i hold it i just don't want to drop it you know so it comes down to when i'm holding this l bracket with my camera when i put it down i mean it's kind of wobbly i mean yeah, it's kind of wobbly, so you guys, you can see. Let me see, it's kind of wobbly, right? Okay, so since it's wobbly, I decided to purchase this really tiny, but it's a really uh, solid table tripod. And you can put it like this. It's really tiny, really, really tiny. And this thing, this little mini table tripod, you can kind of connect it to this L bracket. I'm pretty sure, let me get it, get it, scoot it in. So that way I can, yeah, put on the table, it's easier for me to do it. Okay, so now as you can see here, has this table tripod, so when I put it down, let me show you guys what I mean, if I can get it. You see that? Do you see it? So it's set on the table. So it's easier for me to using the L bracket. And also I can put it on the table without wobbly. So that's why this, uh, this L bracket and the table tripod really can go well together. And moving on to a couple other tripod uh, it's not portable but it's also good to have when you're making videos because you want extra light sources so this particular one is uh, two and a half feet can go up to two and a half feet and this one i usually just attach one of these lights here so if you want to check out how i set up my um, you know home studio i'm gonna link it a card here so you can check it out uh, this concept is the same I just want to show you guys that this lights is really really cheap um, I got the lights and this this hood and the light bulb probably like ten dollars and uh, you also want to have some kind of this cl clamp to hook it up so what I did is I put it on this tripod so you can easily point to certain angle so making sure the light bulb you have to purchase the right one it's the uh, fluorescent lights it's not the uh, the yellow light so so this way i can point to the correct direction on myself so when i make videos i get extra uh, light source in today's video the lights is kind of dim because i'm doing this um, in my uh, upstairs living room so i just opened my window so the light source the weather is kind of cloudy today so the light source is not that great the last one i want to mention to you guys is this full size tripod this can go all the way i don't even know how tall but this is really heavy duty and really bulky so when i film uh, my videos sometimes i will put my camera on this thing here because this you can, there is a hot shoe mount that you can remove it. So it's like here. And last but not least, I want to mention to you guys, which um, is this uh, 
ring light. I'm going to insert a video here because I'm in a different room today. So ring light is in my study room. I use that ring light I purchased recently. I found it really easy to use and um, I mean, I can film my videos late at night, turn on my ring light, then I'm set. So yeah, so all the items that I mentioned in this video will be in the description box. You can check it out because I really think most of my viewers maybe are YouTubers themselves. So this might help them just kind of get to know what I use, um, all the equipment I use to produce my videos. And hopefully if uh, you need help on, uh, you know, what to buy and uh, you know what to get on what budget uh, you can certainly uh, kind of you know uh, think about it because all the stuff I get is really really uh, useful and really help me so that will do it for today's videos and uh, I really hope you find this helpful and like this video that will really make me very happy and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!